There are a lot of different life forms in the world of destiny. From humans to exos and fallen to cabal. But have you ever stopped to take a look at the other life forms present in our universe? The little guys that few tend to notice. I am here to show you the wonders of the natural world within Destiny 2. Our story begins on Nessus, a terraformed centaur on the edge of our solar system that is home to several different species. The first of these can be found at Artifact's Edge a location with high cliffs and steep ravines. This location is home to some very unusual frogs, which are the only creatures to be found in this area, not including the Vex and Cabal invaders. Coloured either yellow or green, these amphibians sit on a dry ground rather than residing in a more damp habitat like their ancient counterparts, even in areas where water is readily available. What they eat is unknown, as there does not appear to be much insect life on the planet, but perhaps these creatures have a more herbivorous nature. If we travel to the more eastern side of Nessus towards the Hallows, we can find a more isolated location and will be greeted by a very unique creature. Upon ascending the natural stairway, the first thing we will come across are these small reptilian birds watching over the pathway forward. These are very skittish. Oh. Oh, well then. These creatures can also be found over at the Exodus Black, but spotting them can be incredibly difficult due to the large number of guardians passing through the area, startling them away. Speaking of the Exodus Black, if we look up into the sky, we can see a more well-known type of bird, the Macaw Parrot. Very brightly coloured, these parrots circle far overhead and do not come down to ground level very often. They prefer to spend most of their time airborne, or perching upon high tree branches far away from all the dangers lurking down below. Speaking of these dangers, let's quickly move on to the next creature on our list. Leaving Nessus behind and heading over to Earth, we can find the farm, one of humanity's outposts during the Red War, and a place now home to several different animals for us to observe. Starting with the most common creature we can find here, we have the humble hen. Cherished by everyone for their delicious eggs, these individuals spend their days carefree, pecking away at grass seeds and insects. Chickens were also a major asset during the Red War, with one well-known individual named Colonel helping slay several cabal when the guardians were left without their light. However, these carefree hens are being watched closely by a predator that likes to reside on the cliffs above, the wolf. This magnificent beast never gets too close to the people working below, but it keeps a close eye on our unaware hens in case one strays too far, should the wolf be craving a snack. If you are lucky, you can also spot a very small species of wolf running through the EDZ, or perhaps it is simply a wild dog. We may never know. If we travel into the woods surrounding the farm, we can find a very wise bird perching there, the owl. While sometimes preferring the rafters of the old barn nearby or the tall poles surrounding the outpost, the owl mostly prefers to stay within the safety of the forest where fewer individuals tread and more unsuspecting mice are on offer for a delicious meal. A creature with the complete opposite perspective is Lewis, the falcon. Lewis is the companion of Hawthorne and is a very well-trained bird. It is said that Lewis helped guide the most powerful guardian ever known to safety after the city fell. Wild falcons can be found around other parts of the EDZ, but these tend to stay high up in the sky and do not meddle with the people down below. The last creature that we can find on the farm 
as well as other parts of this planet and the moon, is the tiny firefly. Small pinpricks of light that dance around in the sky, creating a beautiful light display for all those who take the time to admire their aerial grace. They feed off pollen and nectar. Although fireflies may all look very alike, there are over 2,000 different species to be found throughout the galaxy. We can find another small insect if we travel to a different part of Earth towards Widow's Court, an old section of the city with a crumbling church. This area is home to a massive swarm of dragonflies that reside along the shoreline of the nearby lake. Buzzing around freely, these dragonflies will sadly all pass away or get eaten within a few months before their nymphs sprout wings next year to begin the cycle anew. Larger specimens can also be found on Mercury, although only in the distant past, so seeing them is an honor few get to experience. Heading back to Widow's Court, we can also find two mammals, the first of which is the common house cat. These felines enjoy cleaning themselves and will spend nearly two-thirds of the day sleeping. Although they may be domesticated and can be found both out here in the wild as well as the safety of the tower, they are not very friendly and will move away if approached. If you can gain their trust, however, they will purr loudly in content. The other mammal we can find is the bunny, or rabbit if we are being formal. Most often seen running across the paths of sparrows in the EDZ, they can be approached a bit more closely here in Widow's Court. These rabbits are most commonly brown, although on the rare occasion you may be able to spot a white version roaming the grounds. An interesting fact about these creatures is that they are sometimes associated with the moon due to various craters and other indentations creating the vague shape of a rabbit on its surface. At least, those are the stories. Moving on, we will look at one of the more spectacular creatures on our list today, the butterfly. Coming in several different colorations, these insects flutter around various places in our solar system looking for nectar to feed on. The most common variety you will find has a black and red coloration which can be found within the Tower on Earth as well as the Garden of Salvation on the Moon. More varieties exist, however, within the Dreaming City, with one being a bright shining gold, shimmering like an exotic engram, alongside our final variety with its purple coloration. Sadly, their beauty doesn't last long, as butterfly have an average life expectancy of only two weeks after they've spread their wings. Enjoy it while it lasts. A less glamorous creature we can also find within the Dreaming City, as well as old churches on Earth, is the bat. Preferring to stay in dark spaces until the moon comes up, not many individuals come face to face with these strange flying mammals. While mostly harmless, a few species of bats have been known to attack injured animals and drink their blood, so they are best avoided should you be injured in any way. Much easier to find than bats are the common pigeon. The favourite bird of Saint-14 can be found in a wide variety of places, from the EDZ to the Tower and even on Titan. Also nicknamed the Rats of the Skies, pigeons will eat almost anything, although they will never turn down some tasty feed. Just keep in mind, if you wish to pick up a pigeon, you must hold it gently and remember not to squeeze it as a bird is not a gun. You do not wish to invoke St. Fourteen's wrath. After finishing our observations on the Titan pigeons, we heard a rumor of a giant sea creature that supposedly lives beneath the waves. We have camped out at this spot for three days now and have yet to catch a glimpse of the creature. We may... Was that some motion in the water down there? Could it be our creature? Let us go down and take a better look. We are now beneath the waves on the lower levels of Titan, waiting to try and catch a glimpse of our supposed sea monster. Should it exist, we should be able to have a better view of it from down here. It's strange how there appears to be no other ocean life. Oh my. Let's get out of here quickly. Leaving our previous location behind, we return to the EDZ to observe a much smaller and much safer creature the fly. Buzzing around carefree, 
These tiny insects tend to form swarms around bodies of water to make it easier to find a mate. Being in a large swarm also provides safety in numbers from other predators in the area. We are now beginning to near the end of our list, but there are a few more creatures for us to examine, with our last insect being the moth. They come in three forms, with its largest form being found below ground on the moon, and a smaller variety on Mars as well as on Nessus. The smaller varieties seem to have a certain attraction to the purple crystals that can be found on these planets, although why is unclear. The final variety is also small, with a glowing abdomen, and can be found on Earth grouping around strange growths. They have very delicate wings and should not be touched, so we'd better leave them be for now. While not actually organic creatures, I wanted to briefly mention the small Roomba-like robots that you can find zooming around the lower levels of Titan, because they are just so freaking adorable. Look at them keeping all those floors squeaky clean. Uh, I mean, uh, <coughs> moving on. For the next creature on the list, we need to travel to the Rusted Lands, where we can find the Raven, a pitch black bird that is incredibly intelligent and can mimic a whole bunch of sounds from weapons to. I am on the moon. It's made of cheese. <clears throat> As I was saying, these birds have incredibly developed vocal cords to help them mimic sounds as a display Jeez, for the- forever! Guardian! <sighs> Let's just move on to our next creature. If we head over to the fortress on the EDZ and look in the water surrounding the area, we can find the final creature on our journey today. Fish. They appear to be largemouth bass, although it can be difficult to tell. Very darkly coloured, they blend in relatively well with the charred ground surrounding the waters to avoid the sight of any predators such as large birds of prey. They will swim away if you get too close, but can easily be observed from a short distance away. Should you accidentally startle them, they will return if you stand still for a short period of time. We have observed a lot of different creatures during our travels today, and visited many of the planets within our solar system. There may be many more species we have yet to discover, but if we ever wish to discover them, we must continue to fight back against the Vex and prevent them from terraforming more planets. If we let them turn these beautiful environments into more machine worlds, we will lose everything we have seen during our trip around the galaxy so far. So always remember, Guardian- Throw more grenades! Yes, what the bird said. Thank you for joining me as we explored the wondrous wildlife that you can find within the world of destiny.